Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. Those were good jams, weren't they? I agree. Oh, <laughs> I just was trying to figure out what it was called. Um, Soul Healing Basics by Robert Davidson. So there you go. It's for some reason in the video game study lounge playlist. So good vibes, though. Good vibes, though. Good vibes, though. Hello, everybody. Yes, processing wool. Um, I'm realizing I did not get the water hot enough. I double checked how hot the water has to be to like break down the lanolin and the oils. Uh, it needs to be really fucking hot and it needs to stay that hot for 30 minutes, um, which definitely didn't happen. So, uh, so it sounds like I'll have to like do the, the final cleaning part. Basically, I got all the dirt out. <laughs> um, the water isn't, the water's running clear now, um, so I can just focus on on breaking down the oils. That's that's the rough part. Um, so I think probably I probably just need to have like a couple pots of water and the kettle going, you know, so I can just top up the water consistently over thirty minutes to just make sure that it's breaking everything down, you know. But yeah, and then um, once that's done and it's all dried and clean, uh, then it's then we move on to carding, and that's the process before you spin it. So, um, so that's good. I think that's probably the most labor-intensive part of the process. But I don't have that much wool to card since this is all an experiment. I was given, you know, like one little bag of wool, so it won't be too bad. Won't be too bad. Just make myself a coffee and sit by the fire and put on a dumb show and just card wool for a few hours, you know? <laughs> Uh, not using it for anything specific yet. This is more just like to see what the process is like because um, I don't know. I like I like doing lots of different projects with wool. Uh, Clark really likes felting. Um, I do some crochet stuff and I have a knitting machine and things like that. Uh, and my sister-in-law and I were talking about, I guess the the lady that she got the first like the adult sheep from um makes uh like processes the wool and then uh made like a really cute little circular rug out of it which i think is lovely and my sister-in-law was like yeah i'm just not the sort of person that like, that's not my expertise, you know? That's not something that I would be able to do. And I didn't say it out loud because I knew I would jinx myself. But um, I, in my mind, I was like, that's something I know how to do. I just need to learn how to process the wool. That's the hard part. Because um, I've never done it before, aside from just, like, cleaning really small bits of wool, you know? But if I can learn the process and if it feels accessible to me, then uh, next time that we shear the sheep I can ask for more than I did this time and clean up a bunch of it you know and maybe make a little rug I think that would be fun make a couple little rugs yeah I would love to try to stream early tomorrow oh speak oh thank you for saying that um yeah I want to try to stream early again tomorrow uh I won't be able to go as late as I did last Wednesday but I'll start earlier uh, today I have to end early cause my kid's school is doing like a little walkthrough for the parents of, um, a bunch of art pieces that they did throughout the term. So I said that I would do pickup so that I could walk through and see all that. Yeah. So it should be cute. I'm something, yeah, I'm I'm something of a, a a texture scientist. 
I have latch hooked rugs before. Yes. Not since I was young, like really young. I used to do that, but I really, I liked the process. Yeah, should be good. I was looking at trampolines yesterday. Um, Welk! What a good boy. Uh, <laughs> sorry, got distracted. I got distracted by Wilk. Um, my favorite thing in the whole world when I was younger was our trampoline. I would literally go out onto the trampoline for hours every single day. Um, and we're moving one of the fences so that our, our sort of like immediate access lawn area is a bit bigger. And I'm like, we could get a trampoline. We could get a trampoline, maybe. And I want to say, you know, ah, oh, it's, you know, we should get a big one so all the cousins can all jump together. But in reality, I'm like, we should get a big one so that I can jump on it and have room to do flippies and shit. <laughs> Yes, Terry's kid is doing so good. I'm very excited for them. I hope. Oh my gosh. I really hope she can do away with the ventilator. All of these steps are going to lead to her being able to go home. Trampolines are random injury generators. Most trampolines that you get now. So our trampoline never had like the netting around it. <laughs> um, pretty much any trampoline, any of the big trampolines that you can get now have like a huge net around them that you can take off if you want, but it keeps, it keeps the kids from like bouncing on the springs and shit, you know? I hurt myself on the trampoline so many times. <laughs> but yeah, most of them now, there's like a, you know, six to seven foot tall netting. Um, with a little zipper. I remember my PE teacher ranting about how much he disliked trampolines. Man, I love them. I love them. Only issue is disassembling them every summer. We didn't bother. We just let the rain do its thing. <laughs> we left it up all year long and the rain would just pelt it. Well, I don't know. I mean, ours, the, there was a big cover that went over the whole thing. Um, so it's not like the rain was hitting the springs directly. I'm sure they weren't completely dry, but <laughs> there were things that, that covered the springs. So I 
I've seen lots of videos of wild foxes discovering a trampoline and having fun. Oh my goodness. They double as fox traps. Look at that. <sighs> I got sent a code for um, the new South Park game. And for a split second, I was like, oh, the new South Park game. I should play that. And then I realized, wait, no, I shouldn't. I should not play that on stream. I should absolutely not play that. <laughs> stream never mind <laughs> all my mods with sweaty armpits like please don't please don't <laughs> whoopy doopy <laughs> Oh, you know how I, uh, I constantly vouch for the, just take a picture of it method. If, if you feel the urge to impulse buy something or if your kid or a kid in your life is asking to impulse buy something. Um, so if, uh, just for the basic info, if I'm at the store with my kid and there's something, that she really, really wants. I'll offer to take a picture of it so we don't forget that it's there. And it's crazy how well that works. <laughs> and she'll be like, okay, yeah, let's take a picture of it. And we'll take a picture and she, and she gets to pose with the thing. And after that, it's like, great. And now we walk away and it's, and it's no big. Um, so something that we've been struggling with a lot is, and I was talking about this a few days ago, but trying to figure out how to make it easier for her to donate stuff. Um, so we kept trying to do, I think like bigger collections of things and it wasn't really working. So uh, I decided because there was a request for me to go through something so that the the process was sort of more solidified. So I went through my shoes. I set out Sam's shoes. I set out my shoes. And I set out my kids' shoes. Went through my shoes. Figured out which ones I was donating. Put them in a bag. And was like, great. So I've done that. And then... Uh, Clark really did not want to give up any shoes. Even though some of them literally couldn't go on her feet anymore. <laughs> but she was still so like attached to them, you know? Um, and the thing that saved the day once again was just taking a picture. So uh, the ones that we were really attached to, uh, we looked up what the brand was because I was like, they might still make something similar. We could look up the brand and see if we can find something similar. Um, and then, uh, and then she was like, can we take a picture of them? So I don't forget what they look like. And I was like, oh my God, is this going to be the thing? Is this going to be what saves us once again? And it absolutely was. I was like, yeah, every single pair of shoes that don't fit you anymore that we need to give away, we can take a picture. And if you want ones that are just like it, we'll write down what the brand is and we can look it up later. And it was so easy after that, literally. She would pick up the shoes, give them a hug. It was very spark joy. She would pick up the shoes, give them a hug, put them in the bag. We'd take a picture and then put them in the bag. And it was great. It was so easy after that. And I was like, oh, my God, this is it. This is the way. <laughs> this is the way. Uh, so try that. Try that. Uh, again, if you, if you ever need to, like, go through stuff with your kiddo or a kiddo, uh, 
try offering to take a picture or or offering to like write down information about like literally some of these were like one of them was just basic brown sandals uh that a family member got at next for christmas as a christmas gift for her Two years ago. So her whole ass foot was basically hanging off of this shoe now, right? But she was like, but I love them so much. And I don't think that anybody, me included, had ever just said to her, like, homie, we can just go to that store. I bet, <laughs> I bet we can find these sandals. I bet we can find sandals that are almost identical, just that actually fit you, you know? And she was like, Oh, the ones that were harder were the ones that we got in America because I, you know, obviously it was, well, we're not going to be able to just go somewhere and find those. But I said, you know what we can do though? We can take a picture of them, send them to Nana. And, um, you know, Nana loves, Nana loves going shopping. If we were like, Hey, next time you're going shopping, next time you're at Fred Meyer or something, if you could, you know, keep your peepers peeled for some sandals that look like this in this size, the next time we visit, you know, maybe she'll have found them. Yeah, just to hop on a plane and get some flippy floppies, you know? <laughs> yeah, more culting. More culting. Tomorrow we'll hop into Banishers. Um, I'd like to try and set up to play the Princess Peach game uh maybe thursday so we'll see i always i never i never set up um uh what am i trying to say i almost exclusively play pc games you know so whenever it's like oh i would have to set up the switch or whatever in order to play this game it always feels like such a huge undertaking because i don't do it often enough to know exactly what needs to happen to make that work you know um, but Sam knows, so I can just ask him for help. Hello. Dude, the number of people, um, <laughs> I have seen so many videos of people pissed about the pink joy cons so i guess in honor of a princess peach the peach game coming out they <laughs> they sold pink joy cons and on the box they look pink right like like pink um and when you take them out they're peach colored and it's it's been very interesting because people will take them out and be like, I get why they're more of a peachy pink. I get it. I get it. But that's not what's on the box. <laughs> the box, the picture on the box is pink. Um, so, yeah. I... I'm delighted with the color of those Joy-Cons. When I found out they were more like peachy, peachy, orangey, pinky colored, I was like, ooh, it kind of makes me want to have them. But if I was, you know, if I was a pink girl and I got them expecting them to be Barbie pink and they were not, uh, yeah, I, that would be an issue, right? It's, it's the packaging does not match what the actual product looks like. I really wanted the pink ones, but then my Joy-Cons broke before the release date, so I got the pastel green and purple ones because I couldn't wait. I'm low-key kind of glad. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, if you look it up, the difference uh, of picture versus product is, like, pretty drastic. Yeah, I mean, I think so. I think the Princess Peach game is... It's, it's like Kirby, right? <laughs> Except you're not eating people. You're just putting on cute outfits and then you have different abilities, I think.
That's what it looks like to me. Someone at Nintendo's getting a stern talking to. Yeah, dude. Yeah, that shit's rough. Because surely this was noticed. But they were like, I guess we'll just, we'll just sell them and see what happens. Yes, on the box, it looks pastel pink. And then when you take them out, they are peach. They're like orangey pink. They are not, they do not look the same. Uh, PZN, I don't think you were here when I, when I said this the first time. Um, I'm going to be doing a, a TY soon. Uh, but um, your, your gift that you sent us got opened by Accidente. Uh, <laughs> It got opened early, so I'll I'll still show everything on the actual day when I'm opening packages. But um, but I'm sorry, it it got opened ahead of time. If it helps. Clark was super jazzed about what was inside. Uh, <laughs> but I was like, oh, no, that wasn't supposed to be opened yet. I needed to hide it better. Weird question, maybe. I'm glad you guys like it. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I didn't mean to rob you of the package opening experience. Um, but it, it, uh, she was very excited about it. Uh, Dodger, weird question, maybe. I'm trying to get another streamer into Banishers. She's really afraid of maggots. So the first case really put her off. Did you notice a lot of maggots during gameplay? I didn't pay attention to it, but maybe you did. It would help me get her past that bit if there's nothing like it past it. Um, I mean, there's, there, uh, to be honest, there's gross body stuff kind of through the whole game. Um, maggots specifically, I, I honestly don't, I'm not sure. Uh, I don't recall. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't pay attention to it either. It was a small hope. Yeah, it's hard because it's one of those things that like, if it doesn't bother you that much, you probably don't pay super close attention to it but if it does bother you you really pay attention you know so unfortunate <sighs> oh i got an achievement for what we did with sozo last time i'm just realizing Hot dog. Hello. Welcome to stream. Oh no, were we were we in the cult of the lamb category? Oh embarrassing. <laughs> I didn't realize. Oopy doopy. <laughs> We 
We weren't supposed to be. Yeah, last time we we rehabilitated Sozo. So he doesn't he doesn't eat mushroom people anymore. Thank goodness cuz we made a mushroom baby and then we were all very concerned for their safety. Where is our mushroom baby? There you are. Shukalambaya. <laughs> Uh, what are we doing? Oh, goodness. <gasps> oh, no. I've used up too much grass. Shouldn't be surprised, I guess. Okay, we're currently... Trying to get through to Calamar, I think is is this boss. Been watching the VODs mostly for quite a while, but now working from home, I can have the stream open again. Well, hello, welcome back. Yeah. I need grass, please. Oop. Oh. Oh, thank you. Okay. Hello. I don't know if that one's going to work. I'm curious. Because this fleece makes it so that hearts don't drop. But I don't know if it's that they never drop. Did Sozo die? He was old. Summon two demons. Hello. Oh my gosh, they're both the heart ones. <gasps> oh my gosh, maybe we can do this quest. If, I don't know if they follow me though.
Like if they'll if they'll join me um, past this area, I'm not sure. Is there a heart place, please? Oh, it doesn't look like it. Shoot. Okay, well, I guess it doesn't matter then. They do come with me, though, cutie pies. I can increase the loyalty of someone. Let's see. Um, let's do... Senjo. Thank you. New outfit, new outfit, new outfit. What did we get? A frock for the evening. Oh, <gasps> Where's my other, where's my other little demon? Where did they go? Do we need sin to craft that? I have no idea. Acquired knight armor. Secret outfit discovered.
Okay, well, I'm not as strong as I would have hoped going into this fight, but that's okay. Oh my god. No one look at me. No one look at me. Bye. No one look at me. <laughs> ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. Oh, thank you. Oh, Sozo. Shit sucks, dude. No, I've never sacrificed a cult member to try again. <laughs> Egg! Oh my gosh, why do they always look so weird? <laughs> Oh, it's Mushroomo and Mushroozo and Leshy, that's why. Come on, Meshy. Welcome to the world. We have so many weird children. <laughs> Let's do a sermon, shall we? This has made me wonder, cause like, depending on, like sometimes uh, two of them have a baby and it just looks like another animal, you know? Oh, thank you. Um, but we now have three different I have three different ones that are like, I don't know what they're supposed to be.
Good night. Is there poop sitting around somewhere? Here, let's make some more outfits for people. Does that mean it'll be randomized every time? Or that it'll always be that color. It would be nice if every, if when you hit that, if it just like randomized it each time. I guess they were all mushroom descendants, were they? Descendant of Mushroozo, right. Come here, come here, come here. Sozo. Oh my god, I think you're right. What, all of Sozo's kids are just weird? That makes sense. <laughs> Okay, let's generate some sin, shall we? Okay, let's see. Arimathea is 113 days old. Is generic GM here? I think they were an addition from yesterday. But I think that's the highest yeah. Generic GM, are you okay with having a baby? Or making an egg? <laughs> Go for it. Fantastic. What do you guys think? Fantastic. Oh, and it's a golden egg too. Let's go. All the good traits, and then I didn't realize Hermithia only has bad traits. Loses faith if they're ill. Oh, goodness. You know what? Fair. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Good job. Wait, go to bed. 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 I hate that I have to tell you to go to bed, but please go to bed. There we go. Good egg. Um, yeah, when this <laughs> when this DLC first came out, I was like, I'm really curious what it's like 
with this whole situation because it could be really uncomfy. Um, but it's actually great. Uh, it entirely depends on like, like them as a member of the community and also who they are. So like there is a lustful trait, but there's also a celibate trait. So celibate characters never want to go in there. So even if you're like, hey, you guys should make an egg together, the celibate character will be like, absolutely not. Um, if two characters don't like each other, if they don't have a good friendship score, then they'll be like, no, thank you. Like at the end of the day, they're them as characters in the cults, they get final say on like what happens. Uh, so it's it's a lot better, I think, than just being able to be like, hey, you guys, make an egg, you know. Yeah, that's true. We had a celibate character that agreed to go in. They were like, yeah, sure. And when they came out, uh, the two didn't make an egg. Um, so we're fine with trying it out, but in the end they didn't make an egg and the celibate character was like, yeah, that wasn't really for me. I wasn't, I wasn't a huge fan of that. <laughs> Which I was like, that's so real. Uh-oh, somebody's sick. Who's sick? Leshy, again. Leshy, honey, I'm begging you. Oh. <sighs> Leshy literally is just a soft baby, it's true. They get beat up all the time. They get sick at the drop of a hat. Ah, oh, this is not the fleece I wanted to wear. It's fine. chance to become invincible for 10 seconds. Yeah, the the um, lustful character, the way that it describes it is that they're just more affectionate <laughs> just in general. So they'll make friends easier, but they'll also pretty much always be down to make an egg. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, thank you.
Remember when I let that guy kick my ass for a really long time before I realized what I was supposed to do? <laughs> I do. I remember that. Lots of good ones this time. Let's see. Um, sure. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, yeah, everybody in chat was like, a chancla? <laughs> yeah, we found that. Orbiting eyes damage enemies. Yeah, dude. Uh-oh. I can only use it once, though. Meshi was neglected. Ah! That's an update I want. More than anything in the world. Is to be able to... <laughs> is for your spouse to also take care of the babies while you're gone. That shit drives me crazy. guys give me that. Thank you. Come on, then. back this way. <laughs> it's a colony sin. <laughs> Everybody but you is supposed to be useless. I know, but like they do give, so, um, so like, Narinder is my one like disciple in the, um, in the thing, and so it gives him like the ability to do some things for me, but for some reason it does not extend to taking care of the baby. <laughs> it drives me crazy. Would someone else just pat the baby on the head once a day? That's literally all they need. Ba, 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 ba. 
ah, ba, ba, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ba, 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 ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ba, 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 ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ba, 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 wa, 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 wa. Yeah, that's what's actually really funny about this DLC now is like <laughs> so many of the cult members are our babies, our babies that we that we've raised with our own paws, you know. Wa 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 aba 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 wa wa ba ba wa wa ba 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 <laughs> Bars. Yeah, I was never really into RimWorld. I like watching other people play RimWorld, though. Wah, 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 wah. Hell yeah, dude. My love! Hell yeah, let's go! Oh my god, I'm so glad I came in here. All right, let's go do our best, hee <laughs> hee.
Oh my god. Finally! Thank you. All right, next time I fight, I think it'll be what's his butt. The family coward. If I recall correctly. <laughs> I did it, everybody. Guess what? Oh, no, they're all hungry. I pat the egg. Where's the baby? Why do the babies always blend in? I would love it if sometimes. Bah, bah, bah. I would love it if sometimes uh, there were NPCs just like, or you know, like cult members just in here. <laughs> You know how some people just never leave church? They just go to church all the time because it makes them feel better to just hang in the pews. Um. Let's have a meal, everybody. Where's the baby? Hmm. Oh my God. There it is. Hello, baby. Pat Pat. <laughs> oh, thank you, Leshy. Honestly, considering that I'm pretty sure all three of them still deep down want me dead, um, they really contribute to the society we've got here.
Why are there so many gobios? What happened? Hold on. Let me get a veto tube up. <sighs> I flickered. Do you see? Hello. Do you see me? <laughs> it's going to try to run an ad now, so we'll just wait. We'll just wait, dude. Yeah, we're running a bunch of ads. Let's get them out of the way. Go pee. Grab a drink. If you didn't do it while I was, you know, on another plane of existence. <laughs> I'll get Cult the Lamb back open. Only 2% of players have helped Sozo. That makes me feel real good. We're part of the 2% chat. We helped that man. <laughs> we helped that man stop eating his friends. <laughs> All right, we'll add break here for a sec. Uh, yeah, the, the farm lost power for like a split second. It's fine. I mean, that always sucks for your PC for, the, for there to be a power outage, but that's okay. Can we have fishing? Oh, God! Yes, of course. <laughs> Let me reopen stuff. I have no idea. I just know that uh, the power went out and then it immediately came back. Uh, but, you know, it meant that we had to wait for everything to boot back up. So. <laughs> Can we fish, please? Mama!
All right, we got two minutes. Two minutes until ads are done. I'm homesick. I got really excited when I got the stream notification. Oh, nice. Welcome. We were already streaming, but uh, everything died. So I'm glad that the notification made its way to you. All right, we're back. Ka-chow. I need to leave an hour early. So in like two and a half hours. Oh, look at all of my achievements. Help Sozo. Unlock all the lore, unlock all the outfits. Have 12 disciples. Oh, disciples, right. And completely upgrade the temple. Yeah, right, let's go. We're back at Dinosaur Tale. Who would have thought that that movie would come up so many times <laughs> over the last week? Get me out of this fleece, dude. I don't want it anymore. this shit. Oh no. Why is everybody upset? Oh my goodness. It is cute, but Okay. 
Okay, where's the baby? Because I think it forgot that I patted the baby on the head. A baby! I found you. Good baby! <laughs> okay. Let's go. Yeah, we've uh, we've had a couple a couple mushroom descendants now. attack rate increase. Heck, that is sick. Okay, uh, not going amazing, but that's okay.
<gasps> Come on, baby. So good for me. <gasps> A weapon damage increase. Okay. My kingdom for a heart. <laughs> Okay. I'm liking the mage build right now.
Okay. Oh my god. My lack of hearts, though. She was neglected. Furious. Hi, buddy. Whistle, whistle. Hello, kid. Me, I'm just a man. Out for a walk like men do. Heard the world was changing. I had to see for myself. Whistle, whistle. Yeah, I can't whistle. It's me fish lips. I mean lips. I mean my man lips. I wish I could fish in here. That would be nice. That would be cool. I know. I was just complaining about it, though. I think either... Either your spouse or your disciples uh, should take care of the baby when you're not there. Like, sure. Okay, maybe it's too much to ask that the people I threw into a tent together have, you know, parental instincts and want to take care of the baby. That's fine. Um, but, like, surely somebody else that's there can pat the baby on the head when I'm gone, you know? I stepped over the heart and it didn't pick it up, so. I only have half a heart. Uh, I have one full heart and one half heart, so. All right, Calamar, I think. Hey, buddy, you're looking rough. Stay back, stay away, mercy, red crown. I did remember correctly. <laughs> I forgot what your deal is until right now.
not, yeah. Yes, you can get married. And you can be as problematic or not as <laughs> you want with it. Um, you can just keep marrying people. You can marry as many people as you want. Uh, but the more people that you marry, the more they fight with each other. Um, I just have the one. I was also problematic with it, though. Uh, I married the big bad in the game. <laughs> so canonically in my head, he really hates me, but... But we're married. It's an enemies to lovers thing. Hello, baby. You're an adult. Welcome to the world. Why is everybody so sad? Why is everybody sad? Why is everybody upset? Oh God, let's do a sermon. Why is everybody sad? What happened? Well, that helped a little. Are they hungry? Yeah, they might be. Let's have a feast. Yum, yum. Let's all eat, shall we? If they give you the BBEG romance route, you take it. That's what I'm saying. Okay, everybody's feeling a little bit better now. That's good. Sorry, gang. Oh, some people died. I stuck, no! And cutie, oh, guys. Wait, did stuff scooch around? I thought I cleared all of this. Didn't I clear all of this? Oh gosh, I really don't wanna dig up dead bodies. They're gonna be so mad. Um, hmm, okay. I'll wait until everybody's asleep. Oh, we got nothing growing. We really need seeds. Maybe I should just go to our little guy and buy a bunch of seeds. <gasps> the egg's ready! Oh my gosh. Okay, is it gonna be another weird head? I don't think so. I think we've determined that that was the Sozo line doing that. <laughs> okay. Cute! Um, okay. Generic, you're a, you're a parent now. Let's see, what's a good smush name, guys? Yeah, there's like generic May. Arame GM. Generame. Generame might be cute. <laughs> Chat's suggesting so many different things. Um or, yeah, sure, May GM would work. Something short. I like Genera May, I think. Welcome. Welcome, little baby. Good baby. Pat, pat, good baby. Oh! Just... 
Okay. Oh, you okay? I think she's fine. <laughs> I think she's fine, I hope. Um, I'm gonna go buy a bunch of seeds. Hi. Um... Will it not tell me how much I have of each of these? There we go. That's nice. Lots of seeds in there now. Um, okay, let's dig up some bodies and hopefully, you know, everybody's asleep, so it's fine. There were no witnesses. Nice. Yes. Okay. This is the way. This is the way to do things. here. Get rid of these. Okay, and then why not? No, it's fine. And then I build this by myself, hopefully before anybody wakes up and sees all the dead bodies. I'm digging the bodies up so that um, so that I can put uh, these big crypts in instead, just because they hold more bodies. for some dark work. No. Um, I am gonna scooch this though. Yeah, that's where I want that. And then we'll scooch these around a little bit. We can put another one there eventually. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good job, everybody. Good job, everybody. Lots of lots of crypts. <laughs> lots of crypts for us. Oh. Thank you for all the supplies, gang. Appreciate it. Uh, 
Um, okay, I think, I think we're good. Oh, wrong fleece. That's okay. Wrong fleece, but a blunderbuss. I'll take it. Give me a fervor thing. Yeah, okay. Give me a fervor thing. It's their second time dying. You know, for whatever that's worth. <laughs> More clothes! A merchant suit! Fantastic. I do have good taste, thank you. Okay.
Twitch chat is deciding my fate. Sometimes you're given the option to resurrect uh, cult members, yeah. Thank you. desperate need. I need a fervor card really bad. I mean, we could do a ritual to re revive Sozo. It just pisses people off. <laughs> people don't like the resurrection ritual for some reason. Come on, a fervor something. Oh, God. No fervor items? What fresh hell is this?
<sighs> oh my god. Okay, let's try. Woo! <laughs> I got my Switch repaired just in time to play the manliest game on my system, the Princess Peach Showtime. Hell yeah. God. It is. That is one of the old gods. We've beaten him once before. <laughs> this is my second time through fighting the old gods. I keep wondering what... The only thing I can think of... This motherfucker... Like, if I if I beat all the other old gods again and bring them in here... So, like, Leshy and Haket are in here now. Um, do I have an opera? Well, I'm curious about... And don't tell me if I do, because I've specifically not looked this up. But I'm wondering if uh, I have an opportunity... Um... The one who waits had like two attendants and I'm wondering if you have the opportunity to bring his attendants here. All right, join the raffle if you want to join the cult. <laughs> Does it tell you that you can't join the raffle because there's already one of you? That makes sense. Can we get to 69? Come on. Two more. Come on. Yeah. Meeper Doodler. Welcome to the cult. Please design your cultist.
All right, sorry. Give me just, sorry, give me just a second. Oh, look how cute you are. Welcome. Ah, oh. oh, I think there's a second one. Yep. Come, join the cult. Yeah, we have lots of different uh, follower forms now. <laughs> we still don't have them all, though. Yeah, make sure that uh, the extension is popping up. It's an extension, so it's not going to show up in the chat. It shows up uh, on top of the stream. 69? Oh my god, we skipped 69. Corn Clover, welcome to the cult. Please design your cultist. Yeah, there's a Cult of the Lamb extension. It does work on mobile as well. Um, and as long as you have told the extension that you're down for it to do its thing, uh, you should be able to join raffles, do votes, um, if you have a, a, a little cultist, then you get to design it when it's your opportunity to do that, um, and all that. Uh, we just unlocked the mushroom form, so of course I love that. Uh, but we also have like a little squid. Um, we got a snail last time as well. I forgot about that. Corn Clover, where are you? Don't poop, dude. I'm unsure how to design it. It doesn't pop up despite the extension. Oh, it should be. It should be in the extension. I do have all the DLC, yeah. If it's not working, maybe try refreshing. People have had to refresh the stream before to get it if, if it was bugging out. There we go. Yay. Foxaroonie. <gasps> or Red Panda? <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. You've also got, got the cynical trait. It matches your little eyebrows. <laughs> Welcome. about stop 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 he was just looking to fight somebody dude come here senjo Oh 
my god. Hi, baby. Is all this poop and barf you? Did you do all this? You silly little goober. These, the unique ones you can only make once. Interesting. some more options for outfits now. Uh, let's do a sermon and change my fleece. <laughs> no, Sozo died. We healed Sozo. He didn't eat any, but he had a, a nice end of his life and now he's dead. Um, I'm gonna be gone for a hot minute here. So how about everybody just like takes a chill day. Okay. And now I'm gonna change my fleece. It's a chill day for everybody, so I get to be a little sheep nudist. He got off the drugs and immediately became old. It's, it's true. Oh, yes. God, I love it here. Let's go. Yes. this way. Thank 
Oops, there was more? My bad. Thank you. Let's see. Two question marks in a row? Sure. Alright. Uh Hiket, yeah. Thank you. Oh. Well, can't do anything with that, sadly. <laughs> Devolver publishes some odd games. Dude, this game's fantastic. I mean, I agree, but yes. Odd, but great, you know? Odd, affectionate, yeah. Exactamente. Meshi saw beautiful clothing.
Oh. My B. Ah, oh, jeez. that I'm naked. Wait. More, 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 more. No, neither of those are worth it. For all the weird meat. Appreciate it. <laughs> all right. Ready, everybody? Let's do it. Woo! Hey, homie. Draw them kissing. <laughs> Finally. Yes. Hello. You're mine now. <laughs> yes. I haven't beat. This is my. Uh, so each of the old gods you can beat twice. The second time you beat them, they become. Uh, cultists. <laughs> They've become part of your cult. 
Finally! One left to go, dude. Having witnessed such greatness and sharing this truth, the gospel of the Lamb is born. Hello. What is this, Shimura? Heket? Leshy? I feel... <laughs> Come on, then. You're a cultist now. Welcome. <laughs> he feels sick. Come here. All right. My cult is called Cult of the Slam, and welcome to the jam. Come on and slam if you want to jam. You know, you feel me? Are you an adult now? Oh. Yay! Um, I'm gonna give you different clothes. I'm realizing I can do that. Okay, so this is, okay, cool. Thank you. <laughs> Becomes mortal and the first thing he experiences is getting sick. Uh yeah, it tracks with his character, I think. Okay, come on guys, let's have a little sermon. doing a feast. Feasts are fun. More feasts, I think. Let's have a feast. We'll welcome Calamar to the cult. Alright. Now we just gotta get Spider-Man here. And then we'll have them all. And then we'll have the full set. since I sent somebody on a 94% and they died. <laughs> I'm scared now. Hold on. Let's see if I can get a good necklace. Hi. It did not matter to Calamar that his ears were lost, for he was never inclined to listen. Foolish though he may have seemed, he wielded the power of his crown without discrimination. Those XCOM percentages. Yeah, dude. Ooh, yes! That's the one I need! Give me that necklace, dude! Yes! It's not the number one necklace I want, but if that's the necklace option... 
Well met, infant god. Give me another one. Another necklace, please. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Guys, I'm not ungrateful, big peepers. Uh, I'm not ungrateful. I'm not ungrateful. I'm not ungrateful. But maybe a necklace? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, my cult just has a, a doctrine of being generally ungrateful is is the thing. That's the, that's all. Hello, Janera May. Um, I would like for you to accept this gift. Here you go. Now that we've raised you from infancy, it's only right uh that you go on dangerous missions. <laughs> so long. Shake a rat, welcome to the cat gang. I appreciate it. I hope you're having a good day. Lots of grass meals in the queue, hey? Are you going to go cook? Nope. <laughs> I was like, wow. I'm so proud. Really, like, involving yourself in me. Oh, another big peeper's tear. <laughs> Hello, I have another one. Tad Decker, thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome to the cat gang. Uh, I have Leshy, Heket, and now Calamar. Um, oh, new fleece for this guy. Not that I'm using one right now. Big fan of the buff, you know. Welcome back, you mean? It's been a few years. Well, welcome back then. I hope you're doing good. And Alara Tenny with the seven years, I believe. Happy anniversary. Yes, hello. Lamb, I recalled as I sat here a place in the unknowable fathoms of Anchor Deep. I sunk it there, my handsome ear unfairly taken by Narinder. Fetch it, won't you? Okay, I'll find. Yes, I'll find your ear, you little goofball. Um. Kudai's relic. God, I do not remember what this is. Hold on. Kudai's clue. I'm just going to look it up. Kudai's relic quest. What is the clue? Bitas was tracking down one of his relics. Someplace I feel darkness, something of me now in the belly of some great beastie. Through their bones, laughter. Seek this relic in this place. Oh, Kudai's the, oh, the weapons guy. Something of me in the belly of some great beastie. Through their bones, laughter.
Hmm. Oh my god. Who did this? Do we have any babies right now? I don't think we have any babies currently. It's time. Oh no, there's no sin. Oh, I can fix that pretty easy. <laughs> Who wants to bitch to me about how they feel? Get in here, girl. I love Hecat's voice. <laughs> Thank you. Yum yum. The purple bull has grown up and is now our lead missionary. I gave them the necklace to ensure that they're always safe. Okay. Who was, who are our new people? Meeper doodler, corn clover. Calamar, I don't think we want. <laughs> Meeper Doodler or Corn Clover, are either of you down to make an egg? <laughs> I heard my name. Meeper Doodler, are you down to make an egg? Let's see if you're compatible with anybody first, I guess. Sure, I suppose. You don't have to. Corn Clover is the other person that I'm at least was in chat recently. Yeah, I would prefer, look, if somebody's in chat, I would prefer to ask them, you know. I'm very curious, because it feels like this, the heads are developing, right? Like, like, uh, where are they? Like, this is what the head looked like originally. And now the head looks like Meshi's head. And I don't know if it will potentially develop beyond that. Does that make sense? An egg, an egg is a big responsibility. It's true. Only one way to find out. Man. Uh... Can someone check his dread, dread mode X in chat right now? It's in the name of science. It is. Okay. We're culting, we're lambing, we're making babies. Maybe. 92% chance, they might say no. Hmm, they're sizing each other up. They're down. They kiss. Damn, they made a good egg. Okay. All right, all good traits on this baby. <laughs> yeah, I'm just curious if the if the head spikes get like more intense. Go to sleep. You go to sleep. A good baby. <laughs> yeah, just spikes on spikes on spikes, dude. Okay. Uh. Okay. Well, hold on. Let's see. Oh, 
Yeah? Oh, thank you. I am pretty great. Oh, it's up here. No, not here. Oh my God. Not here. Sorry, Ratao. Here. Is this giant thing, right? Oh, tickle? Oh, a relic! Could I's fingernail? <gasps> nice! Oh my gosh, that quest has been there forever. That's exciting. Okay, Fox is not here anymore. But I feel like that's not the end of his bullshit, you know? I'm also curious if there's something. Interesting going on here now that Sozo's dead. No. Okay. <sighs> no! Oh my god. All right, it's two o'clock. I need to leave in an hour, okay? Okay, that should be good for a while. We're going in the Spidey zone. Just as a heads up for everybody. Hey, <laughs> you like? I love when this game gives me a gun! Oh, I also love the music in this place. Bum, 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 bum. Oh my god, does it just freeze them the whole time? I thought it was just gonna freeze them for like a minute.
Immune to poison. We like that. Okay. Hell yeah, dude. Leshy ate an exquisite meal. A sensible dress. Thank you. I haven't tried to antagonize that weird owl yet. <laughs> Recharging! Mom, please. Way. Still recharging, Mom. This way?
Yes. Mm-hmm. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Bum 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 Hello Welcome Really? Ugh. Dang it. Okay. Why could I? Ready? Woo! <laughs> oh my god. Must we? Do we have to do it this way? It doesn't have to be like this! What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, 
Oh my god. God, that was awful. <laughs> I'm just a naked lamb doing my best, dude. <laughs> Aren't we all just naked lambs in this world called life? <laughs> Okay, please don't let anybody be mad. Great, Everything, everything's fine. Everything's fine, we love that. Job. Yeah, go sleep. Oh, I love it when it looks like this. That's what I'm talking about. Fantastic. I guess I'll go to bed. We're all born naked and the rest is lambs. Exactly. What? What was that? Stop, 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 stop. Leshy, you always lose. You always lose and you always get beat up. <laughs> Don't do this. Gosh, how did I leave with... Really? I didn't wind up with very much thread at all. Hmm. Okay. Let's go. Yeah, the first time you fight Leshy, you rip his eyeball out. Only curses may be used. Receive four curse-related cards. All hearts are replaced by 1.5 times the amount of blue hearts. Heal a heart after completing each room. Increase movement speed and starting health. You cannot roll. Ugh. When a tarot card is drawn, gain maximum one diseased heart. Become poisoned after taking the damage. Sure, that sounds fun. Behold the new fit. Uh, 
unlocks the natural burial building. The corpses of dead followers may return to the earth by becoming fertilizer. Oh, goodness. <laughs> uh, sure. I was hoping one of these is eventually going to be like, people love it when you resurrect, because currently they do not like it when we resurrect. Look at all my little weirdos. Let's get some sin out of one of you. Tell me everything. What's the goss? I absolve you of your sin. Thank you. Egg is ready to hatch thanks to Twitch chat. Oh, hell yeah. Another weird baby. Okay. All right. Uh, dread meshy. <laughs> Good baby. Good pokey baby. Okay. Let's see. Escalou is celibate. Yon yum yum, are you in chat? Are you compatible with anybody? That should be my first question. They are friends, so they're more compatible. Are either of these people in chat? If they are, we will ask. Otherwise, we will we will leave it to their cultist selves to decide. <laughs> okay. What do you guys think? Uh-oh. No. <laughs> oh, don't cry. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. There's plenty of cultists in the sea. Oh. Oh, Leshy. Thank you. Goodness. Oh, it's because they ate such a good meal. Makes sense. <laughs> Look at this little guy. Sure, I'll buy them. So you don't get eaten by the little Spider-Man.
<sighs> Not my favorite weapon, but I'll deal with it. Oh my god. Oh, I can't, I totally forgot that I was wearing a specific fleece. What does this fleece do? Shit. Need to poison. It poisons you when you're hit. Oh, every room I heal, right? It's something like that. Um, but I also take damage. Is that what it is? Oh, I thought I already... Oh, when a tarot card is drawn, gain maximum one diseased heart, become poisoned after taking damage. Okay. Yes, you're correct. What do you got for me? <laughs> Grass skirt! Fantastic. Ooh. Okay, I'm running a one minute ad to push this ad run back. Um. Because I think that'll get us to the top of the hour, so. Running a super short ad. A super short ad. A super short ad. Ooh, a super short ad. <laughs> Wait, but now it says a hundred and twenty second ad break is running. Why? It was almost done with the ad. Oh my goodness, whatever. It claims that the ad's done, so cool. Um, no, and now it says more ads are happening. Stop! 
This is so annoying. Uh, those of you who are not subbed, are you seeing ads right now? I literally can't tell. <laughs> Yeah, I just got ads. I'm not, I'm not. They just finished. Ads have finished. I got a quick one. Okay. Okay. I think it's lying to me then, so that's good. Um, yeah, it's a it's a roguelite dungeon crawler, um, which is the part of it that I'm doing now, but you also are the leader of a cult. So um it's got like a base building element. Uh oh! A worm! Guys, you could be a worm now. I look how unbothered <laughs> this character looks. What's this? Hey, cool. Thanks, gang. Okie dokie. Come on. Welcome to my cult. We're all very nice. Yeah, let us know. How's Princess Peach? <sighs> 
I love the uh, the clothes that we make spark joy for, <laughs> for the people in the cult. I'd like to stream Princess Peach, maybe. Oh my goodness. I didn't realize that I was just like standing on a thing. just want thread, dude. Please, my kingdom for some thread. Oh, 11? That's all I've found in this whole thing is 11? good it's daytime daytime okay let's go Ugh. they're all so gross they're like secondary forms are so nasty
Oh my god. Shit. Yeah, the hammer can be really hard to time out sometimes. Thank you. Hi, baby. Good baby. All right, if you would like to join the cult. Please participate in the raffle. <sighs> CD Gentry, welcome to the cult. Please design your little cultist. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 For sure, this streamer is an evil real life cult leader. Dot dot dot. I wish I was on camera. I'd wink. CD Gentry, are you there? Are you there to design your baby? Yeah, um, a lot of people have said that it works fine on mobile. Um, but like last time that we ran the raffle, I think they had to, I did the thing. Oh, it's just not catching up yet. Mine's a pink little guy. Okay. I don't know why it's not working. Sometimes if I cancel out and then click to redo the raffle, it'll, it'll update it. Clockwork cook, thank you for the resub. Uh, okay, let's do this. There we go. Oh, cute! Look at this little cutie patootie. Welcome. Would you like to cook meals? Oh my gosh, and our little worm! Who would like to be a worm? <laughs> you don't have to be a worm. But... <laughs> Would you love me if I was a worm? Taps fingers together. 
Hige fan, welcome to the cult. Please design your cultist. You don't have to be a worm. <laughs> if you have uh, the same issue as the last person and you uh, design your cultist and submit it and it's not popping up, let me know because canceling out and then redoing the raffle fixed it last time. <laughs> Welcome to the cult. You don't have to be a worm. Yeah, exactly. You don't have to. I'm just saying you could be a worm if you want. You could be a shrimp. Or a snail. You know, it's whatever. Hi, Summer! We don't have a little star guy yet. I'm excited. <laughs> there's some forms that we like haven't really seen. I feel like there's a bunch of forms we haven't seen yet. You don't have to stay as the star. Sorry. But I hope you stay as the star because it's very cute. This is Patrick. Yes, there's, yeah, there's a bunch of it. And we don't even have all of the forms unlocked. That's what's crazy. Oh, welcome. Oh. Oh my god, another one? Holy goodness. Calamar, go eat. All right, who else wants to join the cult? You know what? I, I know I've said this a couple of times, but you know what I think we really need to do? Is the Black Reliquary Darkest Dungeon run. I still haven't done it. And Lord knows. <laughs> Chat got so invested in Darkest Dungeon. Tekiki. Welcome to the cult. Please design your little poison. <laughs> You're going to say start. You know what we should do, guys? We have a lot of experience now. I think we should start a real ass cult. No. <laughs> Cute! Cute! I love that you guys can pick your outfits. I love that. All right. Good job, everybody. Oh, who's fighting? 
Stop. 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 God. The one who waits has such a tood. Them? Yeah. Who's got some sin for me? We are not sinning enough, dude. All right, Leshy, get in here. that. Yum! Thank you. Mm. Who did we try? Oh, Yon and Sidaus, I think, was last time. Meeper Doodler said they were down. Not with not with part of the mushroom family though. to have a, a high level, but... <gasps> My shell and Leshy are friends. Are all of Leshy's kids gonna be weird? I don't know. Michelle, are you down to make an egg with Leshy <laughs> if, it, if it works out? <laughs> Let's do it. All right. What do you guys think? I kiss your weird bandage. Oh my gosh, uh, better constitution, yes. Increased productiveness, no wonder Leshy's always working. Oh, easier to level up though. Yeah, let's do that. Good job guys, well done.
You interrupted them. I'm telling them to go to bed. I'm also excited to see this baby. I don't think we'll see it though before. Uh... Oops. Oop. Before we have to go. Hey. Okay. I just wanted to make sure that I patted you on the head. Yeah, that's what, that's literally what I was saying. Unless she gets sick all the time and also gets beat up all the time. So I'm like, maybe we can have a little Leshy baby that isn't sick all the time. That'd be good. It's okay. You're okay. Good baby. Pat, pat. <laughs> There you are. Can you go get us some meat? Thank you, love you. I have two tears for you. Oh, new follower form. Cute. New follower form. <laughs> Cute. All right, sure. Yeah, I gotta go. I gotta go. All right, save and quit. Okie dokie. Hey, thanks so much for hanging out, guys. I appreciate it. <laughs> thank you for the screams. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> Hope I can see another stream sometime soon. Yeah, I stream uh, around this time almost every day. Um, I'm ending a little early today because uh, they're doing a little like end of term art thing for the kiddos at my kid's school. So I'm going to go see that. But I appreciate y'all very much. Let's see. Um, raid leader's open if anybody would like to grab it, if you want to suggest somebody for us to raid. In the meantime, Vet, thank you for the 27 months. PZN for the 86. Ain't no dog. Thank you for the 10. Wood End Grump for the 22, and first for the 13, Sir Servo for the 86. Temki, thank you again so much for subscribing. Welcome to the Cat Gang. Jun Coffee for the 42, Demon Lemming for the 116, Juniors Junior for the 41. Shea Karat and Tad Decker, both of you, thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome to the Cat Gang. Tad Decker, I think you said you were with us before, so thanks for coming back. Alara Tenny, thank you for the seven years. Happy anniversary, and Clockwork Cook for the 57. I will. I will. I'll give my kid a little head pat to, you know, increase their devotion. <laughs> I'll look at their art and be like, that's fantastic art. Pat, pat. And they'll go, excellent. Yes, good. <laughs> and gain power. Uh, okay. No one took raid leader, so I will find someone to raid. Let's see. Who's doing what right now? Dude, Gab has been crushing it. Um, Manda's doing some Dragon's Dogma. Ready, set, Ben is doing the new Stardew stuff. Yeah, let's say hi to Ben. Oops. Ready, set, Ben. 
All right. Uh, go say hi. Spread love, spread joy. I will be back tomorrow. Wednesdays, we play Banishers. We're trying to finish that game up, so I'll be starting a little early tomorrow. Uh, so if you're around, a couple hours before our normal start time, uh, somewhere in there, that's when I'll be starting. So I'll see you guys for that. Otherwise, uh, hey, if, if you just swung by and you're not able to come here very often, I hope you had a good time with us. Thank you so much. I will see y'all next time. Bye-bye. Uh,